What's going on today? We've got a brand new tactic and it is going to be a meta 343 flat. So a little bit different compared to what you're used to seeing with 343s. And this tactic absolutely cooked. It won six trophies in one season, scored over 240 goals and picked up a 98% win rate. We're going to test with three different teams today. Therefore, three different tactics, a default tactic, an attack and tactic and a defensive tactic slash underdog tactic. So whatever team you're playing as, I have got you covered. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you enjoy the content that much, you can also turn on the notification bell and never miss another post. Let's get in to the tactic. First off, of course, very important is going to be the results. And the first tactic is going to be the default tactic, which we tested with Sevilla, a team predicted, I think, around fifth or sixth place. So an average team in the league. We come out and absolutely dominate the Spanish first division. Well, I say dominate. Real Madrid were semi-close with six points, but we get the job done. We win the European South American Club Challenge and unfortunately knocked out in the semi-finals by Barcelona in that Spanish Cup. But the main talking point is going to be this Spanish division. Outclass and Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, some other really big teams in there as well. And I will say... A Campos is some player. He really, really is. And it resulted in us outscoring Real Madrid, having more shots than Real Madrid. Defensively, we were an absolute brick wall. The best in the league by a little bit of distance as well. Possession-wise, very competitive. 60% with a free-back, by the way. With a free-back tactic, we had nearly as much possession as Barcelona and the likes of Real Madrid, etc., etc. Most goals were outscoring everyone. And of course, most points per game because, well we won the league. But the data hub as well is going to paint quite a nice story of 3.29 goals per game and 89% pass completion, only 0.6 conceded per game, over 19 shots. And as you can see, we are scoring more than the relatives, more than the average in the league. And overall, for a first season with no sign-ins, I'm not going to complain. That's an incredible start, but it's not the best this tactic does get. The attack inversion did provide a little bit more firepower. So let's go over and look at that. Of course, it is going to be tested with a powerhouse. But once again, you can use these tactics mid-game as well. So you could start with this tactic and then change to the attack and tactic to go and get the goal you need. But we are going to show a full season with that attack and tactic now. Powerhouse for today is going to be Manchester City. They play in a lot of competitions and we have won every single one. The Community Shield, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Champions League, 5 nil against Liverpool, the Premier League and also the Club World Championship, which does not show on here for some reason. We did win it as well. But overall, that is six trophies in one season. And the Premier League, we nearly went invincible with Haaland scoring 72, De Bruyne just doing De Bruyne things, Jack Grealish as well enjoying a great season and you know what the one loss was against Arsenal so if we could if we would have got over the line that would have been 38 out of 38 wins a great season and possession rank one we love to see it but also the fewest conceded rank one most clean sheets rank one fewest conceded or fewer shots against rank one most shots most goals most points per game we are Man City but I will say in this game Teams can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City, so the likes of Liverpool can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. Arsenal as well can take points off us, and do you know what? Only one team took some points off us, and that is going to be Arsenal. So still a very, very good season. Well, a perfect season, to be honest. And this was also the season where we did score 240 goals as an actual squad. Now, the data hub is going to be consistent of 4.74 goals per game, only 0.66 conceded. An improved pass completion of 89.23, over 24.6 shots a game, and still a decent tackle win ratio. I will be honest, not the best I've seen for a tackle win ratio. We have had tactics with 79-80%, but we are quite aggressive in this system, so that's why it might be a little bit lower than the rest. But when you're scoring close to five goals a game and winning six trophies, I'm not really going to complain. And the underdog team is going to be Munster. Obviously, over in the Bundesliga 2, a team predicted to finish 17th, so almost rock bottom. We have won the league, and it wasn't that pretty. We did draw four games and lose five games. We got all the way to the Pockel final as well, where Wolfsburg did beat us only by one goal, but still a very, very strong season. And as you can see here, it was quite close with HSV, Hertha Berlin, a very, very strong team. But stat-wise, once again, most goals very close there with HSV. Most shots, most points most clean sheets. We're going to be joint second when it comes to the conceded, so a little bit closer with this defensive tactic, but it is enough to take a team predicted from 17th and turn them all the way into champions, and we've done that quite comfortably as well, still conceding just 0.3 under a goal a game, over two goals a game scored, a great pass completion, and a good amount of shots per game. I will say it's a big challenge getting this to work with a team as weak as these. They are a team literally predicted to go down from Bundesliga 2, so it's a good set of results. 
want. So you've got this going on with this. You've got Man City winning six trophies. You've got Sevilla doing very well. It's three very good tactics. Well, one tactic, but three very good variants. Let's go and actually break down the tactic. But first, I'm going to pick out a game we can watch, probably from the City save, to be honest, because there'll be a lot of goals. Actually, no, it's not going to be that because I've just seen the semi-final. We beat Bayern Munich 4-3. It was a very close game, but it goes to show it's okay to sometimes not be in control of a game, but you still have enough firepower to win it. And you can see they played an incredible team. We even had injuries, a lot of players unfit for the job. But let's go and watch this now. So it is going to be a game consistent of lots of goals. And of course, we are going to be conceding some goals there. The first one inside of two minutes. But let's not forget, I'll pause it quickly. We are playing Bayern Munich, okay? Bayern Munich, you've got to concede goals against them when you're playing as Munster. That's just how it is. And and it's a great goal again, to be fair. Two in four minutes. We do bounce back here though by the looks of it though. With Lorenz down the left hand side. A great ball in. Quite direct, but it'll get the job done to make it 2-1 to them still. And we are going to equalise. Great link up play. Absolutely ripping through Bayern to make it 2-2. They do appear to Komen's rapid. That is going to be 3-2 coming in now with Thomas Muller. So that is going to be their goals done. So this is the comeback being completed because Lorenz down the left-hand side, back in the middle. Beautiful finish to make it 3-3. And we get the goal in the 118th minute from a direct ball in on the edge. Little rebound. It's easy. But now over to the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying back home, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you do enjoy rebuilds, come and check out my rebuild channel in the description or on the screen right now because we're posting a lot of rebuilds. And if you enjoy them, you can come over and get your requests there. We also test the tactics further in them as well. But to make this tactic, you are simply going to load in a Gagan press. And of course, you've, sh you've seen the shape. It is going to be a free back wherever that is, a 3-4-3. Free, free. And let's go and load it in. So this is going to be the tactic loaded and it is going to look a little bit different from this. So don't worry, it's not going to be what you see on the screen. I do want to quickly say today, if you want to get access to all three of these tactics in one simple download, you want them on console, you want them on mobile, you want my rebuild files, the rebuild tactic files, you want one-on-one -on -one tactical help, access to everything early and access to every single giveaway we do monthly. I'll give you a little clue. I mean, last month's giveaway was £500. So we do give away a lot of prizes. You can do so by joining the Patreon in the link below where you can be part of a team of 5,000 people. Come on over because the content is not slowing for FM25. And when FM25 drops, there's going to be endless stuff posted. But let's go over and start talking about this tactic then. So it is going to be a sweeper keeper who is simply going to be set to support. And again, I've not had too much of an influence over his instructions because it's quite an attacking tactic anyway. I don't really need him to be attacking, coming out and tackling harder, for example. So he is going to remain simply on the default. Also, I will say this is all done on a positive mentality to clarify that going over to the back three we are going to go of course with ball playing defenders on the right and also on the left and in the middle we are going to go over covering ball playing defender now very important in the back three the wide players are going to be on stay wider so on the right hand side you would opt for stay wider and on the left hand side you would also opt for stay wider so there we go nice and simple when it comes to the back line and when it comes to the sort of four block and this is where i say it's a little bit different from some that i see because some people go with dm options they play quite negative we're actually playing quite aggressive football so on the right hand side we are going with a ball winning midfield player who's going to be set to support and he's going to have one simple instruction and that is going to be shoot less often because he does sometimes get pushed up the field and I don't really want him taking too many shots and next to him we are going to opt with a deep lying playmaker who is going to be set to support and his one instruction is going to consist of being tackle harder now one thing I will say is, if you do want to go a little bit more attacking minded in the midfield, you could replace this DLP with a box to box. But in my opinion, it was really good to have one player sitting a little bit deep, plucking the passes out for the players that are making great runs in behind. And when it comes to the wingers on the left hand side, they are both going to be set to support. So the perfect role here, you could use defensive wingers, for example, but this was really good because they do get forward, but also are going to come back. And the one instruction we are going to have on both of them is simply run wide with the ball on the left and the right hand side as well the one thing i would not say is have get further forwards on because it makes them way too attacking and when they're like this when they've got the ball they are going to run wide with it but they're not going to pointlessly run forward and just be caught out of possession and then we're completely done when it comes to defending the game now this is where it changes a little bit more with the sort of tactic because we are going to go with two actual inside forwards who are going to be set to attack on the right hand side and also on the left hand side and it does look a bit of a unique situation. We'll quickly do the striker first who is simply going to be an advanced forward on attack on 
shoot more often. But the inside Fords are both going to have two instructions, sit narrow, and both roam from position. Now, the great thing about this, and what I've discovered from watching them highlights, is these players will actually opt and sort of sit in this position here. So it does become a very sort of 2-4-2-1, I believe. Oh, hang on, a 3-4-2-1 a sort of tactic, it does become. And when these wingers do push up and they have got the ball, they obviously can overlap the inside forward. And it works really, really well because we almost gain another attacking midfield player here and the winger replaces where the inside forward was. So it's a very good way of playing football and one which resulted in winning a lot of trophies and scoring a lot of goals. But let's go over and talk about the team instructions. Not all based off that Gagan press coming in on the positive mentality, we are going to go and leave it too fairly wide and this is where we are going to start building. So the final third is going to be set to mixed crosses. We're going to be more expressive with a maxed out tempo and the passing all the way down to shorter and the one other thing well that's going to be playing out from the back because we have got three ball playing defenders and two players that are sitting in midfield that obviously we can play to and build up from the back in transition we are going to roll the ball out simply to the center backs again we have got three and we are simply going to counter press and also look to counter when we are in possession and lastly and lastly, out of possession, we are going to go with the high pressing line of engagement, the higher defensive line. We're going to step up more. We're going to get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And we are also going to max out that trigger press all the way to the very top. And that's going to give you the tactic that got the results with Sevilla. Now to the tactic that we cooked with Man City. So the idea behind the attack and tactic was actually quite a challenging one because there's only so much you can do because it's already very attacking. So for example, the goalkeeper, as both of the both of the ball playing defenders on the wide areas and in the middle are going to remain the same. The wingers on the right are going to change and on the left are also going to change. Take more risks, run wide and getting forward. So taking more risks, getting forwards are going to be the real core changes. The ball winner midfield player does remain the same. The box to box is going to come in, as I said previously, on get further forwards and also tackle harder. The inside forwards do remain the same as does the advance forward, but the real core principles and big changes here are the wingers being a lot more attacking and the introduction of that box to box. And of course, we've still got the team instructions, so let's get into it. Still on the Gagan press, but this time we are going to go all the way up to attacking when it comes to mentality. We're still going to play out from the back and we are still going to obviously maintain that higher tempo with the shorter passing directness. But the real big changes here is simply going to be the addition of running at the fence alongside of be more expressive. So that's really the only change in this tab here. If you want to go more direct and you're not afraid of sacrificing some possession, you could also go with pass into the space, but that is completely up to you. In transition, we're going to distribute quickly. We're going to roll the ball out again to the center backs because that is the best option by far in this tactic. And we are simply going to counter press and counter when possession has been won. And lastly, out of possession, we're going to roll the high press. We're going to go with the much higher defensive line on this occasion. We're going to step up more, get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and also max out the trigger press. Now, as a little heads up, this is as attacking as a tactic can really be. A much higher line, a free back, we're countering, we're aggressive, we're attacking. So it might leave you somewhat defensively vulnerable, but if you are playing as a powerhouse team, as you saw with us, you are completely fine to play it because the quality will override the risk. If you are playing as any team, I would only use this if you're trying to score a goal in an emergency situation. If you're drawing 1-1, one -one, you're losing 1-0. Anytime you need a goal, whack this in, you'll get your goal, but then go back to the balanced or the upcoming defensive tactic, which of course we tested with Munster, which we somehow beat Bayern with. So let's go over and learn about that one. So the idea for the defensive tactic was to still have it somewhat attacking, which is why you still see the inside forwards on attack, but to really bring in the players and almost have this wonderful interchanging short passing style where we can, you know, catch the likes of Bayern Munich off guard, actually be quite confident on the ball. And you saw in the second goal in them high highlights some of the pass and play we are capable of and it was really really good the goalkeeper does remain the same as does the entire back line to be honest with you the wingers are going to change quite a fair bit both on support but this time simply on roam and pass it shorter the ball winner midfield player pass it shorter and shoot less the central midfield player comes in on support on pass it shorter shoot less roam move into the channels and also tackle harder the inside forward on the right and on the left both on attack pass it shorter 
roam and sit narrow and the advanced forward simply still on shoot more often but this is where it gets really important and hopefully you are still watching this part of the video because you can understand why we were so sort of good against the big teams because yes we're not going to score many goals although we did score four against Bayern you're going to have a lot more of the ball a lot more controlling and this is a perfect tactic to take in with a smaller team because you can get a real feel for the game and then if you think do you know what I'm dominating but I can't score you can then change to the balance tactic or the attacking tactic get your goal then come back to this sort of system so playing like this is really really i'm gonna say it is underrated again the gagan press this time set to positive once again we're going to remain on fairly wide this time we're going to work the ball into the box with mixed crosses and we are going to go all the way down to a much shorter passing directness which of course lowers the tempo to slightly lower and of course we're going to play out from the back we've got three ball playing defenders anything else would simply feel criminal in transition we're going to roll the ball out to the three center backs and we are simply going to counter press we are not going to have any emphasis on going on the counter we're not really in a rush so we're going to leave it nice and simple i want them to be aggressive out of possession to win the ball back when we've got the ball just take your time pass it about get a feel for the game and you know frustrate the opposition and lastly out of possession we are going to go with that high press line of engagement the high defensive line step up more and more often when it comes to that beautiful trigger press and that's going to leave you boys and girls back home not one not two but three variants of the meta 3-4-3, a very fun tactic to play, I will say. And I will say to anyone back home, it works with any team you want in the game. We've tested with a powerhouse, a mid sort of team, and also a lower sort of team. If you have enjoyed, please do consider leaving a like because it helps a lot, more than you can ever imagine. And if you do enjoy the content that much, you can subscribe and turn on the bell because we've got content coming. We're not slowing up. Although FM25 is delayed, I'm still bringing the content on this channel. And once again, if you want to show any more love, you can come over and show some love on the page on but also you get rewarded pretty heavily there's tons of perks and giveaways so hopefully i'll see a few more of you boys over there i'll be seeing you in the next one